Kia ora all. Let's run through the cards uh, at Rickerton Park on Saturday. Starting away with race number one on the program. It is for the hurdlers. Spates Premier Hurdle over 3,100 metres. Aiden Blues break a very good on Wednesday. $2.90 and the Huntsman, $3.10. Yeah, both of those horses have really valid claims here. One I'm just going to throw in a, a little bit here is Point Proven. Horse who's coming back into, into hurdle racing. Uh, the hurdle record's good. Uh, two starts in the troll for a win and a minor placing. In recent times, it's been over the bigger fences, but I think just offers a little bit of value at eight dollars and two fifty. So Point Proven's around where I am. Are you, are you around those uh, those two horses? I just thought that the Huntsman Sean Fannin might try and negotiate a plan to settle a little handier to the speed. Blues Breaker just put paid to him a long way out from home. A little bit of a discrepancy in the price. I think I'd be happy to play the 310 around the Huntsman, you're liking the $8 for point proven though. That's, uh, that's the way I'm going. And he's got that form uh, around uh, Jack Frost who was pretty good in the, in the Grand National. Okay, Games. let's turn over the page to race number two on the program in from Rickerton Park on Saturday. And we're going to take a look at the market for the Zilco Premier Maiden, which tra travel over 1,400 metres. Bully Boy's pretty short, $2.90. Kate Cowan and Adrian Bull could be in for a pretty good day. I, I think so. Uh, and Bully Boy and Quaff met uh, at New Plymouth a couple of starts back. Bully Boy ran second that day, was a very good second. We see a couple of horses who are backing up from Wednesday performances which were excellent. By Magic was uh, terrific in running second and behind Hattrick Boys. And also Quaff, another very good second. This horse is uh, headed down to, uh, to Rickard and, and bringing great form down there. But the more I look at this, uh, Bully Boy was great. Just stuck on really strongly at uh, New Plymouth last time out. Uh, the trial win prior to that was excellent. That was in, a, in a, a really quick time. So Bully Boy, I thought, uh, an attractive bet. One I want to be playing on Saturday. For okay, sure. I think I'll be playing around the place price of Buy Magic. Looks a bit of a speed map special if it's able to punch forward and get itself onto the speed. Race number three, Mongolian Falcon at Willow Glen Premier. This over 1,600 metres. $5.84 Manhattan Street. Five fifty for Fire Lily Aiden. Nobody missed the very good effort of her last weekend. Yeah, exactly. It was a, a terrific run. It's an interesting race because I thought Kensington, if it had had that clear run, went for a run up on the inside, just about established it, uh, but was shut out of the gap. That was in, in the same race as Borna Royal. I think Borna Royal was, but it still come back after being E, it still come back and, and went past Borna Royal. I thought at 680 and 240 with Sarah McNabb claiming down two to 58, uh, especially the, the, the uh, an impressive uh, first up run for a new stable with Kevin Myers had been with uh, Emily and David Brown. So just seems to be uh, sparked again and I, I thought uh, looked an each way play here. Okay, one horse that caught my eye last weekend was Oropuki Lad. It's around $9 and $3 on the each way. Jacob Larry to do the riding of the son of Raise the Flag. Race number four, Heat Store Premier. This one over 2,000 metres. Four dollars handed to Jones. He missed the kick last weekend. It was very good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're seeing that this horse uh, produced uh, a very good performance to, to close off well. Just got back too far from the outside draw. And, and once again, gets no favours with a draw. So that's got to be the concern there. What's up, Elpis was very good off the front there. Ryan Madu now with a bit of confidence, now to 59. Draws well and was very good in the close. Closing stage. I just thought maybe Whiskey in the Jar here at, at 41s might have been a, a little bit of a speck in the race as well. How'd you see it? Uh, multi time, I think. The man, $1.95. Take that price, run it through a couple of others you like through the day, but I think he's the sort of horse that I'd be willing to back at that price, okay. Aiden. On to race number five now. This is the Brackenfield Hunt Premier, and we've got uh, $6.20 there for on point, $5.80 for Miss Brahmos. Kensington, no rider down at this stage. Clearly, a chance of there is a chance that he starts. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, he's a, he's a dual acceptor. With a, with a more likely to run on the earlier race, but uh, he, he's got to be you know, at six dollars in this race. I think twelve hundred metres is, is no knock on him. Well, they, looks as though they're going to step up to sixteen. Outside that, there's uh, it's decent form, sort of coming from uh, some of those sort of key lead up races. Uh, I think that'll, that'll do was pretty good a couple of starts back. Suggestive looks was okay last time out, but it's a tricky little race. This one, how do you see this? I thought there was a speed map special here in the former number four, Mister Conductor. Gets a kilo off its back. It's going to find itself on the speed at the top end of the race and I think if the track is still heavy by that stage of the day, the 290, there's a price I'd be willing to shop through some multis. The feature of the day is the Racecourse Hotel and Motor Lodge, 144th Grand National Steeplechase, 5600 metres, a gruelling staying test. 
The horse has only won one race in his lifetime, made in the favourite chocolate fish, $4. Uh, are you dual call in this one this year? Yes, we are. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Look forward to that. Uh, I thought it was a really good uh, feel. We've got a, a real a bit of top level depth around. Wise Men Say, who's won, you know, Northerns. Amanud Lad, who's been terrific there, was good last time out. Tai Ho, chocolate fish. And even you get down to these horses, such as Shamal King's Deep and Not a Bad Rooster, who was obviously unlucky last time out. But up the top, Wise Men Say, he's a class horse. He'll be ridden closer to the speed. And he's just a horse I don't want to be underestimating here. He has been found in the market, I feel, at 440, but I, I wouldn't want to back against him. He's, he's my favourite. OK, wise men say can't disagree with you there, Aidan, even under the 71 kilos. Post the feature race on the car, we go over to race number seven. It's the Millennium Hotels and Resorts Premier Open over 1,400 metres, where we find Finbar, Jason Tan, willing to make this his best bet of the day, Aidan, 3.50. Yep. And understandably, too, was very good at all, but two starts back. There was a race where the first two home were, were, were on speed the whole way. Finbar's come from a long way back, attacked the line. Was third ballot in the Winter Cup last week and never got a run. Spoke to Gay uh, Robinson during the week and she was just gutted uh, that the horse didn't get a run. Unfortunately here, it's at 1,200 metres, uh, sorry, it's at 1,400 metres and draws barrier 12, which is a little bit of a trick. So if the fence is uh, playing a little bit faster, then there might be a concern there. Outside that, I thought uh, Dynamic was luckless last week. It's 7.20, it's a price that does attract me. And I'm a fan of Wise Act. I have been uh, right through. Blinkers go on, horse who gets back, comes in at, at a better uh, position in the weights with no compression through Scopolo being there. And I just thought that there'd be a bit of improvement there. The 9.20 is an attractive price for mine. How would you see it? Yeah, she's racing like a horse, Aidan, that I think is crying out for blinkers. She's been a little bit wayward in a couple of her starts. And with Lisa Allpress on, it's only going to be an advantage. Each way all day, Wise Act there, the daughter of Zakinto. Let's turn over to the next on the card. It is the Dyer Decorating Premier. Over 1,400 metres, $3.40 for Mida Everybody seems to have seen Rock Island Line's last start effort, 680 and 250. Well found at that price, do you think that's fair? Uh, I think so, yeah. Back in distance as well, but uh, in a race last time out where those on speed and on the inside had an advantage, Rock Island Line must have covered about another 50 or 70 metres, uh, just about more than those other horses and stack on nicely. Mitigate the horse for me though, who did stick on strongly in a swoopers race, and I was just, we were keen on it last time. The trial in behind Scopolo, big horses like Sensible Princess, who's since been to the trials and one again, looks like a Group 1 contender. Uh, certainly a chance here. It's, it's a good race, sir. Really good race. What'd you like? Uh, Cornella. Mittergood, Rock Island Line. I think they were both good enough last Saturday to suggest they'll be running 1 and 2, and you might get a 10 or $12 Cornella just for good measure. Over to the feature race, Aidan. This is, oh, the feature flat race, the Christchurch Casino Winter Classic. He steps up to 1,800 metres in Asheville, 720 and $2.40 is price. I, I think that, that suits him. He, he's a horse who's proven that he can get over ground in the past. The three kilogram claim, like he's down to 57, uh, you see Dez shortening in. Yeah, three into 280. That's even from, yeah, we knew that the bookmakers were really wary about him. Uh, it draws barrier two. It's a white handicap winner from two starts back. I liked him in the winter cup. No reason to go off him. He gets into a, a lovely position in the map. Probably the 1-1 one, one where he was last week. And he did kick on really strongly in a swoopers race in the Winter Cup. But uh, Nashville's attracted me at that price, 720 and 240. It was very good this uh, carnival last year. And I'm with him. You with him? A best bet of the weekend. Even at the $7.20 with three kilos off his back, he is a very, very smart horse, especially around Rickerton Park. We wrap the day with race number 10 on the card, and the 10th and last is the Vernon and Vasey Premier over 2,000 metres. Arguably one of the more tricky races of the day, Aidan, and the market would suggest that. Yeah, I'm going to go for one further down, but you can see a bit of money here around centre attention, who's been good. Uh, Frank Coney winning last week at $56 a chance. Redsdale uh, wasn't too bad last time. It gets a claim, but a wide barrier. Area draw might be a little bit of a concern there. Royal Mistress with a bit of a chance here at, uh, at 980, but Ave Maria is the horse for me. I was on the horse last week, wasn't too bad, but really uh, unlucky in the uh, amateur riders race. Just got into a pocket after getting a lovely trail into the race. Had to be eased out of there and attacked the line. Only went down narrowly and behind Olive Bubbles, I thought, today or tomorrow or whenever you're watching this, it's the day to back them. OK, 16 and $5, the first time I've seen this market around Salsafera. I thought single figures for this horse, trained by Danny Champion and Kezia Murphy, and I like the fact that Lisa Allpress is on from a barrier draw that she should be able to find a spot yeah. each way all day to try and round out the day. To you at home, good luck with your bets at Rickerton Park.